Hello friends, welcome to Insights Again Initiative. In this video, we are going to discuss about weekly current affairs week number 33. In case, if you miss out previous weekly issues, you can find in the playlist named as weekly issues. Okay. In week number 33, we are going to cover following 8 topics. First one is India's first underwater corridor. It is related to infrastructure. Okay. And the second one is Karnataka Temple Bill. It is related to Indian polity and here we are going to discuss about various constitutional provisions. Third one, India's first national dolphin research center, environment and SNT. India's first green hydrogen steel plant, environment. Abortion as a constitutional right, polity and international current affairs. France, France for the first time in Europe recognized abortion as a constitutional right by amending their constitution. Recent GI tags, miscellaneous, penicillin G, SNT. After three or three decades or so, again we started producing penicillin in India. Okay, Hyderabad based company. We'll see what is that company. Eighth one, India's first indigenous fast breeder reactor. Here we are going to check about what is the meaning of fast breeder reactor and which public sector undertaking is behind this fast breeder reactor production. So we are going to cover those, these all eight topics. First topic would be that is India's first underwater corridor. You know that recently under the river Hooghly, under river Hooghly, government of India launched underwater metro services. This underwater metro services will connect Calcutta with Howra city. And this underwater metro, it is similar to Eurostar service. Eurostar service, it connects un through underwater and it connects cities, I mean, between the London as well as the Paris. Similar to that level, we also this you know like uh, constructed this underwater metro corridor of course this underwater metro corridor is all is about 33 meter below from the surface of the water and 13 meters below the river bed and uh, this entire route it is also going to have an underwater metro station also that is howrah station so these are the important highlights regarding this underwater metro corridor let's see prime minister inaugurated howrah maidan and a planned day section of Calcutta Metro East West Corridor. It is a past part of East West Corridor and this tunnel it spreads around 520 meters below the Hooghly River. Of course we will try to learn more about Hooghly River in the coming slides. This project will be the India's first transportation tunnel under a river and this is the country's deepest metro station that is Howrah station also features in this project. It is similar to or it can be comparable to Eurostar's London Paris corridor. This London Paris corridor it present across which water body? Tell me students. It present across which water body? And this Bhagirathi Hooghly river source close to Giriya, Murshidabad. Length of this river 260 kilometers. It flows through West Bengal. End point of this river is Bay of Bengal. Importance. It is a lifeline of Calcutta in terms of transportation of the goods and services and for the people as well. Okay, next second topic Karnataka government. Karnataka government would like to develop a common a common fund by collecting uh, money from temples. Okay, Karnataka government decided to impose a tax on temples based on the revenue of that particular temple. Here we would like to recall Article 25, Clause 2. Article 25, Clause 2 saying that state can involve in the secular activities of religious institutions and state can throw open throw temples to everyone and article 25 class 2 state can introduce certain reforms also in the religion as a part of that we try to understand about Karnataka government decision actually this particular bill previously passed by assembly but rejected by the council okay when a particular bill is passed by assembly and rejected by the council if the same bill with or without amendment again passed by the assembly then council has to accept otherwise council is deemed to be accepted you know that in assembly in Karnataka there is assembly as well as council that means bicameral legislature in India tell me students how many states are having the bicameral legislature in India how many states are bicameral legislature now recently Karnataka legislative assembly they passed Karnataka Hindu religious institutions and charitable endowment bill 2024 previously the same bill passed by assembly but rejected by the council this bill is going to create a common pool fund under Hindu religious institutions and charitable endowment department. The funding comes from any temple which is having revenue more than 1 crore 
10 percentage tax will be imposed on the revenue and income below bit income between 10 lakh to 1 crore they have to pay around 5 percentage and temple income below 10 lakhs they don't need to pay any amount of the tax okay this is about this is about one year one year contributions according to article 197 if any bill is passed by assembly and it is rejected by the council again if the same bill passed by assembly and forwarded to council council has to accept there is no doubt in that within one month it has to accept otherwise it is deemed to be accepted under article 25 clause 2 state can involve in the secular matters of the religion and state can throw temples open to everyone that is already we discussed endowment matter and religious matter it comes under the concurrent list so that means both state as well as central government can make laws on those particular topics next third topic the third topic is the dolphin research center this is going to be the first dolphin research center and you know that river dolphin river dolphin is the one of the one of the indicator for the health of the river if the river health is in good condition then you will see river dolphins in that river okay let's see national dolphin research center india's first dolphin research facility it is inaugurated in patna by bihar government the main objective of this center is to study gangetic dolphin and to understand the river ecosystem this gangetic dolphin population is directly proportioned to the health of the river ecosystem if the river is getting polluted means thus the number in the river dolphins will lowered this is located in the river ganges within the patna university campus protection status of the gangetic dolphins okay actually you have to know that gangetic dolphin is also national aquatic animal international iucn conservation cat conservation status it is endangered according to india's wildlife protection act it is in schedule 1 according to sites Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, it is in Appendix 1 and Convention on Migratory Species and according to that it is in Appendix 1. This is the protection category. Next, India's first green hydrogen plant. You know first you have to understand what is this green hydrogen. There are different types of hydrogen, blue hydrogen, brown hydrogen, grey hydrogen depends on how that hydrogen is produced. Green hydrogen is all about production of hydrogen from electrolysis of water when water is electrolyzed so for the electrolysis of water energy is also required for that if you use the solar energy okay if you use the solar energy for the electrolysis of water in that process if you produce hydrogen means that is known as a green hydrogen because in this entire process there is no burning of the fossil fuels now let's see for the first time green hydrogen plant is inaugurated in the steel sector the union minister of steel he inaugurated the india's first green hydrogen plant where it is in the jindal stainless limited hisar it is the world's first off grid hydrogen plant off grid means it is not connected to another green hydrogen plant so india is aiming to achieve the net carbon net carbon zero by 2070 in this effort these kind of initiatives are going to play very important role government initiatives towards you know like lowering the steel usage as well as improving the green hydrogen is about steel scrap recycling policy 2021 it enhances the availability of the domestically generated scrap so that we can reduce the consumption in the steel production we can reuse the steel national green hydrogen mission by ministry of new and renewable energy it is to encourage the production usage and export of the green hydrogen in future it is going to be the game changer motor vehicle registration and functions of vehicle scrapping facility rules 2021 according to these rules the older vehicles will be sent to scrap so that so the steel availability can be can be improved like i said earlier brine hydrogen hydrogen produced from the industrial processes gray hydrogen from fossil fuels blue hydrogen this is the one the hydrogen produced from the fossil fuels but in that process whatever the carbon dioxide is released that will be captured and finally green hydrogen it is the hydrogen produced by using electrolysis electrolysis powered by renewable electricity or the nuclear process green hydrogen next france abortion is now a constitutional right actually french constitution it amended it amended very less number of times and it will be amended very rarely so far french constitution amended 17 times only one seven okay tell me students how many times indian constitution is amended 
okay out of the 17 times the 17th time french constitution amended to make this abortion as a legal right okay now we will try to understand who is that rights activist behind this particular one and why french why the french government decided to keep this as a constitutional right let's see france has become the only country to guarantee abortion as a constitutional right this enshrines women's rights to voluntarily terminate their pregnancy in french constitution and this follows the dobbs ruling by the us supreme court in 2022 in supreme court 2022 in usa dobbs case where supreme court mentioned that abortion should be the right of the woman so in response to that even american in some one of the state in america even they amended their state law as well so many people protested against that the amendment it pays tribute to simone wheel actually she championed this bill that is decriminalizing the abortion in france in 1975 this amendment is a very rare one so far french constitution amended only 17 times since it enacted in 1958 you know that so abortion is all about the removal of the fetus or embryo from the uterus either through surgically or through medically medically means by administrating tablets so that fetus get destroyed actually from french indian constitution also inspired so many things such as republic the word republic we got it from french constitution even that's uh, you know like liberty equal, i mean liberty equality fraternity okay just liberty equality fraternity this slogans also inspired from the french revolution next ga tags recently ga tags awarded to different products ga tag is all about what geographical indication that means a product which is particularly particularly popular related to that particular place okay and that popularity should be should be so confined to that particular place only and production should be given to that people who are manufacturing that product in that place this ga tag is according to according to paris convention and it is similar to the intellectual property rights accepted in wto's trips agreement madrid agreement and lisbon agreement in india ga registrations are controlled according to geographical indications of goods registration and protection act 1999 these ga tax things are administrated by registrar of geographical indications rgi this office identifies geographical indication tax in agriculture natural or manufacturing goods and ga tax status it will be the status will be provided for 10 years and for every 10 years this status will be renewed and the department of department for promotion of industry and international internal trade under the ministry of commerce and industry this ministry will take care about the geographical indication tax very very important ministry of commerce and industry recently these following products are you know like they got ga tax okay from various states next penicillin g you know even after three to after uh, three decades again in india penicillin g is getting production pro you know like this getting produced meanwhile we stopped producing for last three decades because the penicillin which is imported from china it was more cost effective that is the reason penicillin g was not manufactured for last three decades but recently in the covid pandemic times government of india started giving you know like incentives that is production linked incentives pli to encourage this kind of medical products in india itself so that uh, dependence on china can be reduced okay so in india manufacturing of the common antibiotic penicillin g after three decades the hyderabad based arabindo pharma they are going to start the production of this penicillin g penicillin g actual scientific name is benzyl penicillin it is a narrow spectrum antibiotic which used to treat infections caused by the bacteria and it is a natural penicillin antibiotic it is administrated by intravenously okay a person who cannot absorb orally that to that person this drug will be given intravenously iv you can call it as so for last three decades we stopped manufacturing penicillin because chinese products became very cheap but after government announced production linked incentives in the wake of covid pandemic again this this kind of production started in, started in india actually during the covid times government of india announced that they are going to provide this production linked incentives to active pharmaceutical ingredients api 
active pharmaceutical ingredient means that is a main ingredient in any medicine which causes the desirable effect next we'll see india's first indigenous fast breeder reactor recently so this fast breeder reactors okay one of its important step that is the core loading a indian prime minister was present at the core loading at the india's first indigenous fast breeder reactor at kalapakkam tamil nadu core loading means loading of the nuclear material into the reactor now here we would like to know what is the meaning of this core loading and what is this fast breeder nuclear reactors actually this nuclear reactor is developed by bavini we'll try to understand what is this core loading core loading means it is a process of placing the nuclear fuel assemble assemblies into the core of the nuclear reactor so what is the nuclear fuel here enriched uranium or plutonium this enriched uranium or plutonium that will be placed inside the nuclear reactor it is one of the critical critical step in the nuclear production fast breeder reactors in the fast breeder reactors we use the fast moving neutrons we use what we use the fast moving neutrons compared to conventional one in conventional nuclear reactor we use slow moving neutrons here the amount of plutonium 239 okay the production of plutonium 239 is more than the consumption of the plutonium 239 in this particular nuclear reactor it is the india's three stage i mean this particular process that means the development of the fast breeder reactor it is it is going to help india's three stage nuclear power program india is only the second country after russia to have the commercial operating fast breeder nuclear reactors okay then what is bavani bavani is bharatiya nabikiya vidyut nigam limited it is a government company which works under department of atomic energy this established in 2003 and the primary goal of this is to construct and operate fast breeder reactors and this bhavani it has so far built 500 megawatt prototype fast breeder reactor set kalapakkam by taking the help of by taking the help of techno i mean technological help from indira gandhi center for atomic research from there they took the help so this is about core loading of this particular nuclear reactor now let's see yesterday's video question and today's mcqs sila tunnel recently seen in news is located in which one of the following states it is located in arunachal pradesh you all know that then today's mcqs udgam portal is developed by who developed this udgam portal the term blue line is sometimes mentioned in the news in the context of the fis between which country the women business and the law 2024 report is released by fourth one the first city specific zero carbon buildings action plan in india launched in which of the following indian city e kisan upas nidhi is an initiative of which ministry so these are today's videos five mcq questions as we reach to the end of this video so this is the detailed analysis regarding the weekly current affairs week number 33 Thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind